we are given three negative angles and asked to determine the reference angle. A reference angle for a given angle in standard position is the positive acute angle formed by the x-axis and the terminal side of the given angle. We need to begin by sketching negative 256 degrees in standard position. So we begin along the positive x-axis, and then because the angle is negative 256 degrees, we rotate clockwise 256 degrees. Well, half a rotation clockwise is equal to negative 180 degrees. Because we want to sketch negative 256 degrees, we need to rotate another 76 degrees clockwise, and therefore the terminal side would be approximately here. This is negative 256 degrees sketched in standard position. The reference angle is the positive acute angle formed by the terminal side, this side here, and the negative x-axis. So this angle is the reference angle. If we recognize that we rotated 76 degrees clockwise past the negative x-axis to determine the terminal side of negative 256 degrees, we already know the reference angle is 76 degrees. Another way to determine the reference angle is to recognize that a half a rotation clockwise is equal to negative 180 degrees. And if we take the absolute value of negative 256 degrees and subtract the absolute value of negative 180 degrees, this will give us the reference angle of 76 degrees. So notice how the absolute value of negative 256 degrees minus the absolute value of negative 180 degrees is equal to 256 degrees minus 180 degrees which does give us 76 degrees. Next we have negative 287 degrees. Beginning along the positive x-axis, we rotate clockwise 287 degrees. Three-fourths of a rotation clockwise is negative 270 degrees. Because we want to sketch negative 287 degrees, we need to rotate another 17 degrees in the clockwise direction, and therefore this would be the terminal side of the angle negative 287 degrees. Now again, if we recognize the angle between the positive y-axis and the terminal side is 17 degrees, this will help us determine the reference angle, which is the positive acute angle formed by the terminal side, this side here, and the positive x-axis. So this is the reference angle. Because the positive x-axis and the positive y-axis form a right angle, we should be able to recognize the reference angle is going to be 90 minus 17 degrees, which is 73 degrees. This is one way to find the reference angle. Another way would be to recognize that one complete rotation in the clockwise direction is negative 360 degrees. And if we subtract the absolute values of negative 360 degrees and negative 287 degrees, we will be left with the reference angle. So the absolute value of negative 360 degrees minus the absolute value of negative 287 degrees is equal to 360 degrees minus 287 degrees, which is equal to 73 degrees. And our last angle is negative 148 degrees. So we first sketch the angle in standard position. We begin along the positive x-axis, which is the initial side of the angle, and then we rotate clockwise 148 degrees. So if we rotate one-fourth of a rotation clockwise to here, we have negative 90 degrees, and therefore we need to rotate another 58 degrees in the clockwise direction. And therefore the terminal side would be approximately here for the angle negative 148 degrees in standard position. And therefore the reference angle is the angle formed by the terminal side, this side here, and the negative x-axis. So this is the reference angle. From here we should be able to recognize that if we rotate another 32 degrees in the clockwise direction, we would be at the negative x-axis, and therefore the reference angle must be 32 degrees. If we don't recognize this, then we can use the fact that half a rotation in the clockwise direction 
here is equal to negative 180 degrees. And then if we take the absolute value of negative 180 degrees and subtract the absolute value of negative 148 degrees, we'll be left with the reference angle. So the absolute value of negative 180 degrees minus the absolute value of negative 148 degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus 148 degrees, which does give us 32 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.